Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an L3 Waxy Wonders pre-order haul. Now, does anybody feel like me where I feel like L3 opens so often that I'm kind of like, oh, I'll order from her next time because there's another vendor that I want to order from and I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, I haven't ordered from L3 in a while. That's personally how I feel. So when she offered this pre-order, I was like, you know what? I'm going to place an order and forget about it. And then one day I'm going to be like, oh boy, a gift from L3. But anyway, so I did place this order from her previous pre-order and got the shipment notification. And I was like, yay, some L3. So I have just a few things from L3, actually. I placed this order on February 28th and I got it last week. So she offered some bitty betties and some pre and some pre-order chunks. I'm looking at the invoice and some chunks. So I picked up just two bitty betties and then I did 10 chunks, but only five cents because for her chunks, I want to cut them into a few pieces and I wanted to have enough to go through all of my warmers. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up is a Bitty Betty Loaf in Emerald City. I've been wanting to try this in all the videos I've seen. This scent just sounds so good. And it is baked Granny Smith apple pie topped with brown sugar on a pretzel crust. And I've been loving pretzel scents lately. So mixed with apple pie and brown sugar, like sign me up. And yeah, it is so good. You definitely get that Granny Smith apple, that like green tart appleness with a hint of the pretzel. It's not super crazy pretzel. I'm actually going to take it out of the tin. It's a fun green color. Yeah, it just, it's just the right amount of pretzel that adds that little bit of like sweet salty with the pretzel or with the apple that makes you just really want to, like my favorite, lick the air. It's like a lick the air fragrance. Oh, I cannot wait to pop this in my warmers. This one is delectable. And then the other bitty betty I got was peanut butter, strawberry jam, and fresh baked bread. So sort of that like yeasty bakery vibe. I love yeasty bakery. So when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up. And yeah, it definitely smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with strawberry jam. Her strawberry jam is so yummy. If you like her Aunt's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls, which is one of my favorites, this definitely gives you that same vibe. Oh, it's so yummy. And as far as the fresh, fresh baked bread goes, it's just a little bit in the background, like that yeastiness. If you're not a fan of super yeasty scents, though, I feel like you might not love this, just because it does have that yeasty fresh baked bread vibe which when you warm these oh my god when you warm a fresh baked bread scent it really comes alive like you truly just put the bread in the oven so yummy all right now let's move on to the chunks so like i said i did get two chunks with each one so the first one i got is raspberry jam bakery bomb and it doesn't have any notes on here but i know that bakery bomb it's like her secret bakery blend and this one's really yummy. It's not a favorite just because the bakery bomb in there almost, I feel like there might be sugar milk or something. And I'm not the biggest fan of sugar milk. But I really wanted to try her raspberry jam because I've been loving raspberry jam lately. It's yummy. Her raspberry jam is definitely that really, really sweet, like thick, gooey jam type of fragrance. I really like this one. So I think the bakery bomb in it though, I hope that when I melt it, it comes out a little more. Then we have Pink Sugar Pie Crust Warm Vanilla Sugar. Now this one I was very intrigued by because I feel like everybody and their mother is obsessed with the Bathing Garden's Pink Sugar Pie Crust. So this is Pink Sugar Pie Crust with Warm Vanilla Sugar. And lately that Warm Vanilla Sugar note is like incredible. And can we just talk about the size of this chunk? Like it is huge. Really love her chunk sizes. So really get a lot of melts out of that. And this is really, really pretty. You definitely get the pink sugar and it's that classic like Aqualina pink sugar dupe. I will say I'm not getting a ton of pie crust, but I am getting that warm vanilla sugar, which I love. I feel like warm vanilla sugar is like getting a comeback in wax and melting it really just adds a little bit more of a sophistication. Well, I like the Bathing Garden one a little bit better. Her pink sugar is just so unique. This one's really yummy, and I can't wait after some cure time to see what that does. Then I have Bicentennial Man, and this one is Countryberry Hotcakes, Flapjacks, and Brown Sugar. 
And I thought this would be really nice on like a Sunday morning melt. And this is yummy. The brown sugar and the hot cake. It's interesting because when you figure like hot cake or pancake, you get again like yeastiness, bakery note. But mixed with the brown sugar is so yummy. I love I love the difference between the brown sugar and that says hot cakes and flapjacks. Isn't that like the same thing? So like more bakery. I don't get any maple syrup note, which I was nervous about. And I think without the brown without the maple syrup replacing it with brown sugar still gives you that like decadent richness with the berry pancake that's yummy i think this one when you melt it it's gonna just smell super yummy and cozy in the house which i'm excited for and then i have blueberry zucchini bread and pumpkin pecan waffles had to get a pumpkin pecan waffles in there and honestly I don't get pumpkin pecan waffles super strong. I get the booberry, which is like that like berry cereal type of note, and you do get that cerealness. Zucchini bread, definitely, and I feel like L3's is a more spiced zucchini bread than some other vendors that have like that really creamy zucchini bread. But the pumpkin pecan waffles, while I don't get it like strongly or like super potent, and it's like in the forefront, it is in there in the background, which adds just some creaminess. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Really yummy. All of these, I feel like, are really good for the fall. So I'm excited to, like, tuck these away and melt them in the fall. And then last, this is Coffee House Nilla Wafer and Whipped Cream. I just like a good creamy coffee. And I haven't had one from L3 in a while. And this is nice. Now, this isn't super roasty coffee. This smells almost like... And like it says, coffee house, it kind of smells like when you're going into a coffee shop and they're dumping the espresso beans or the coffee beans like into that plastic bowl on top of the machine to grind them fresh. I feel like it's the smell of the coffee coming out of the bag. So fresh coffee grounds or fresh coffee beans that are just getting ready to be roasted. So they don't have that like warm bakedness in them yet or that roasty or the ground fragrance. It almost just smells like that fresh coffee bean. Mmm, that's so good. And then mixed with the vanilla wafer and the vanilla, uh, the whipped cream, it really just adds just like a smoothness to it. And then that's all my haul, and I'll just touch on the samples that I got. The first one is Fruity Pebbles Peeps. So I assume Fruity Pebbles mixed with Peeps. It's a little cowboy boot. This is good. It definitely smells like Fruity Pebbles. And surprisingly, I smell the peeps. I smell that sugary marshmallow with it, which is really interesting. That'll be going in the bathroom. And then, oh, I was like, where'd the other ones go? Buttermint birthday cake. So we have like super rich, buttery birthday cake. Yeah, it's definitely a very creamy buttermint scent. And buttermint is really nice, personally for me, in the bathroom because it has mint without being like super overpowering the richness of the like butter mints not necessarily have butter in them they're just those really creamy like pillow mints really good and then last but not least pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie royale and cream cheese frosting now i did open this haul and just smell it really quickly when it came in and let me see if i feel the same way yeah you really get cream cheese frosting. This is the first scent I've ever had from anyone where that has cream cheese frosting. You really get the cream cheese frosting. And with pumpkin pecan waffle and sugar cookie royale, I don't know if this is just heavier on the cream cheese frosting or what, but that cream cheese frosting, I really pick it up and I love it. Oh, like I hope that she offers this blend in a bigger size because I really can get that cream cheese frosting, which I'm just loving. As far as pumpkin pecan waffles and sugar cookie royale, mm, it kind of just smells like a spice cake, almost like a carrot cake. And maybe that's just like my mind playing tricks on me because I smell the cream cheese frosting. Oh, but yeah, really, really decadent and rich. I cannot wait to pop it in a warmer. I might save this for my new house and pop this in like one of the bedrooms just to see what it does since it's just a little size and want to give it the benefit of the doubt. Before I end the video, I do just want to have a little heart to heart with you guys about what's been going on. Now, I was not directly involved in everything 
so I'm, I can't speak to it. But I've seen the ripple effect that it has had on the community, and I understand I'm, I'm not for everyone, and that's okay. I, it really, it's okay. And I'm not perfect. And I'm working on myself every single day to be the best version of myself. I've said things I regret, and I take an action for those, and I take responsibility. But I just want to say, let's please just get back to what we all love most, which is wax. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.